Hi everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to do 50 facts about me. Are you ready to hear all these crazy things about me that you didn't know, that you probably wouldn't care about, but I'm just going to share it anyway because it's fun. <laughs> so, alright, here's 50 facts about me. Number one. I was born in China and I came to Australia at the age of 8 in 1995 so yeah I've been living in Australia for over 20 years and wow it's just been so amazing but I was actually born in China. 2. My first memory of school in Australia was like in after school care I was like what the kids play? They don't have to like sit down for 3 hours doing homework? No way! I was just like, no way! Like that's what you do in China. You have to do homework. You have to do homework for three hours, or maybe even longer than that. And you have to do practice tests on the weekend when you're in grade two. So yeah, I was very surprised. I'm very happy about that. Number three is blank. I wrote this down, and I, for some reason, deleted it, and now I can't think of what I was thinking. Number three is that I am currently 31 years old. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that and especially when I try to buy like a like go to a liquor store I tried to get cups the other day for my son to pay stacking cups with I mean like you know those little cups that just look so cute I mean it's the only red ones they had and my son loves red so I tried to buy them they said we need to see an ID and it's like I don't have an ID you can't buy it. <laughs> and I'm just like, are you kidding me? I have white hair here. I'm 31. How can people think that I'm under 18? I don't understand. So yeah, I am actually 31 years old. Number four. I love riding trains. You probably see it in my channel. I love, love, love trains, especially the EMU trains, which are the older trains that make the really beautiful sound as it goes. It's, I love it. Number five, if I could buy anything in the world, I would buy a train, like literally put it in my yard or like in the, in the house, <laughs> just have it like a, like a place I go into, like go into virtual reality or something like have, have, I don't know, <laughs> that would be my dream. Number six, I, I don't like driving and I usually don't drive we don't really have a car so i don't like driving at all because it just makes me feel too stressed out like i find it very stressful if i constantly have to worry about where people are and if people are trying to you know come up behind me and just yeah i really don't like it and i can't really find my way so that doesn't help me at all seven which brings me to that i have zero sense of directions. I can get lost in my own backyard. I can get lost like if I'm walking in circles. <laughs> so uh, thank the Lord that there's Google Maps because I don't know what I would do without it. I just, I just, like I will walk out of a shop and go, where am I going? Like, which direction? Number eight. Um, I used to have very bad anxiety nausea that like affected me a lot during like high school years where I would just get so nauseous and since then I've taken ginger and medicine and it has helped and I barely get those symptoms anymore but they were once really bad and when I was a child I was always told that I didn't want to eat and they had trouble getting me to eat and now that I think of it I think it's because I was anxious and I just like my stomach just really ugh. and yeah so anxiety nausea has been like a part of my life for as long as I remember nowadays it's been so great like I barely even notice it Number nine, I cannot go to sleep without like washing my feet and legs first. Like I need it to feel completely smooth in the bed to sleep. Like if it's sticky at all, I just too uncomfortable. Ten, okay, I really hate wearing pants, uh, shorts, jeans, anything that feels uncomfortable on your body, bras, things like that. I just really don't like it. It feels so uncomfortable and I feel like I'm suffocating when I'm wearing it, especially like down like where my legs are. I just really hate it. So of course you can probably imagine play suits and jumpsuits are like my ultimate nightmare because they're trying to troll me because I love wearing dresses and I just love like 
having, you know, dresses are just so comfortable for me. I end up like buying a lot of clothing like that has like pants and things that because I love the way it looks, like it looks so cute or something and I'll buy it and I'll be like, ah, oh, I've never worn it. Like, unless I'm taking a photo or video then I will wear it, but otherwise, yeah. I think I get this from my grandmother because she was the same, like she couldn't stand like wearing anything that felt uncomfortable, especially in summer, like the thought of wearing like more than just a summery dress just fills me with dread. <laughs> Number 11. My favourite things to wear are just dresses, simple dresses, I just love wearing them out. At home I love wearing t-shirts and things like that, but when I go out, dresses. 12. When I was younger, like in primary school, I was set on being a vet, like that was it, I had to do it. 13. I used to always love taking photos of animals that I see like pets and things like dogs, cats and anything I could find. I would like always like if I see someone walking a dog I'd be like can I please take a photo of your dog and I would like print them out and just have an album full of like pets and animals and yeah it was like one of my favorite hobbies when I was younger. And I also had a book of animal names like book of cat names, dinosaur names, uh, eel names, fish names, uh, snail names. <laughs> you get the point. 14. I am emetophobic, which means I have a fear of vomiting or like seeing other people uh, vomit. I am extremely, extremely scared. Like if I hear something or like someone tell me that they've just been sick, I will like just be like, <gasps> I'll be really scared and like run away. So yeah, that, that's been a phobia of mine ever since I was a kid. I had very bad memories associated with it. So like. I just just dread it and a couple of times my son has been sick and I found it like dealing with that was easier even though I was pretty much like feeling like the worst fear I've ever felt so it has been a huge challenge for me and I am slowly but surely getting slightly better so hopefully it continues to be that way. 15. So I grew up in Shaoxing in China and uh, with my grandparents and they were just so wonderful. They raised me until I was like four or five or something, maybe like four, uh, about preschool age, you know. 16. I am like really quiet and shy with like a group of people that I don't know. I You, you would think that I don't even know how to talk <laughs> because I just hate like being in the center of attention when there's like more than one person it just makes me feel so uncomfortable so if I'm in a group setting with people I don't know I will always be very quiet and barely even like make any contributions like I just find it so hard I love one-on-one -on -one conversations they're really great but I just can't handle it when there's like another person that I don't know it's like oh god <laughs> just so nervous number 17 which brings me to, if I know you, if I feel like I know you, even if I've met you the first time, but if I feel like I know you, or I know you, I will be like crazy. <laughs> I'm very, very hyperactive and crazy and yeah. 18. I generally find it very hard to start watching new TV shows uh, just because of that newness. Like it takes me a while to get used to like new actors and new act characters so whenever there's a show with the like, same actors or same you know same company that produced it or you know that it's a sequel it's always easier than just starting something new like I literally sometimes have to be forced into it. 19. I really love ancient Chinese series I mean that's just so amazing the settings everything about it the stories ah oh, so good and it's really sad that like they're not really out there for people to really know about 20. i love to repeat my favorite shows and songs and things like that i will play it a hundred times a thousand times and not get sick of it 21. so after high school i actually did a couple of years of university to become a teacher but it was really hard and i just really didn't like it so i have quit since 22. so i am married <laughs> Yeah, I'm married and you can actually read more about my story in one of my older videos, so go and search for that if you like. So yeah. 23. I have a three and a half year old son called Lucas. Oh, he's just such a sweetie! 24. My son Lucas was actually conceived through IVF. 
25. I love calling him my little baby Lucas. That's what I usually say when I see him. Oh, he's just so sweet. So sweet. 26. I'm really scared of the dark. Like, especially if I'm on my own. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna be haunted by a ghost. 27. I usually don't feel safe until like I put the blanket on me and it's like, there, I'm sheltered. But otherwise it's like, oh, what if like something touches my skin. 28. In my teenage years, I used to write all sorts of things. Like I wrote poetry, lyrics, stories, fanfics, everything. Like I just really loved writing. And writing was amazing. I even had like a whole book of poetry that I have written. I probably still have somewhere. 29. I have made over 10 different websites for different interests of mine that range from like cooking to shows. Yeah, just I just have so many interests that I have to like show my love for them. And even though like nowadays it feels like websites don't, you don't really go on sites anymore as much. So I haven't really worked on that. But yeah, in the past I have made over 10 websites, 30. I just love being creative, anything creative just makes me feel so excited, like like filming videos and things like that. I just get so excited, it's like I can't wait to do it and come up with ideas and things like that, it's so fun. 31. I really hate logical thinking. It feels like my part of the brain that's for logical thinking does not exist. Like things like programming, maths are just so hard, like I just don't get it, like I just like I. Someone could be explaining like a math problem and I'll just go out the other ear and I just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, oh. 32. I often have like memories that feel so real that I'm not sure if it's a dream or that it's real because I'm just like this, this is like I can see the picture in my head but I can't recall it ever happening or, or I'm thinking like it's too real to be a dream so I'm just like wondering if it's a dream or if it's real. 33 which brings me to dreams. My dreams can be so crazy and realistic that I literally like remember a dream that I've had even like a year ago and I'd be like I can remember every detail like it actually happened it's crazy. 34 I have a major problem with spending money. I'm terrible like I, I'll go out and I'll be like oh God, I just bought all this stuff I didn't want to, but... 35. I am a hoarder. Yes, it's a big problem and I'm trying to control it. 36. I always love eating food that's made by someone else. Like, eating out is always so fun because I can just eat, like, different type of foods because I get so sick of eating the same food, like, that I make or, you know, just, it just feels so repetitive. Like, my mouth, like, needs a new palate or something. It's like, oh, it's too boring. I need, like, new food. So I just really love eating out because to experience like the taste of like food that I've not had before. 37. For some reason if I eat a burger or if I eat some like chicken nuggets I'll feel like I've been eating there. <laughs> it's like they don't fill me for some reason. I'll need like three burgers to feel fulfilled. To fill to full no to feel full. <laughs> yes. I need like so many burgers but a bowl of noodle soup will just fill me instantly. <laughs> a bowl of rice will fill me instantly. I don't really understand that in <laughs> my mind. 38. My Chinese name is Shu Qing, but my parents always call me Qing Qing. It's like a like a really endearing kind of nickname. And it's, yeah. 39. I have always had trouble saying people's names. Like I really, really just feel it. Like it's so hard. I don't know why. Like. It's just, I feel so embarrassed when I say people's names. I just, I feel like I'm saying it wrong or something. It's always been a problem of mine. Like, I'll always remember when I used to write, like, we were asked to write stories at school and I would write this big complicated story and the teacher would be like, I don't get it because you don't have names for the characters. So I'd be like, they, this, they, then, they, they, he, she, you know. So, yeah, it's like, I'm not trying to be rude. I really just have a huge problem like maybe it's social anxiety I don't know it's just so hard for me 40 I really love traveling exploring new places that I haven't seen before and just experiencing it and like filming it and just looking back on it it's just so amazing 41 I really love colors like pastel colors pink uh, lavender anything that's like just soft colors I really love it 
aesthetics are like eye candy to me. I just really love anything that's like pretty and just like colorful and just wow. 42. I'm very lazy. Like I'll try to get out of something if I could. Like I just so I uh, don't feel like it. <laughs> 43. I am very impatient. Like I'm just like go 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 go. It's like I can be so impatient. Like my partner will say one of the things I say the most is why are you so slow or why are you eating so slow? Or like if I'm on the train and the next stop I have to get off, I have to like stand up like way before it even reaches the station. 44. I'm a huge panicker, like I'm really panicked about time. I was like, if I'm trying to get there somewhere on time, I'm like, I have to be early. Like I just can't stand the idea of being late. I just got to be early. <laughs> I'm really, really, really like panicked about time. 45. When I was younger, I had a pink blanket that just smelled really good. And it was like my pink blankie or something like, you know, like a very, very, uh, important thing that I would not let anyone use like nobody is allowed to touch it use it wash it or anything like that it's like mine <laughs> I really just love the smell of it I called it Xiao Xiang Xiang in Chinese because I just love the way it smelled it was like my <gasps> everything I actually still have that blanket somewhere in the closet <laughs> like 20 years later and it's all like completely fallen apart 46 I tend to be the type of person that really goes into something really excitedly and then like find something else and just slack off. So you'll always see like I'll be like doing something crazily for a while then I'll be like oh, I'll do something else for another year and then change and things like that. Like I can't seem to stick to one thing. That's why actually why I chose vlogs because vlogging I, I find very freeing as that I can do anything that I really feel like it so I don't have to stick to one type of thing and that's what I really like. 47. I really love cute things. Anything kawaii, anything cute. Oh my god, I love it. Like, just love, like, if I'm looking at, like, art and stuff, I just love the cute stuff. Like, ah, uh, cute things are just everything. 48. I really love, like, mythical creatures like unicorns, mermaids, and things like that. Just because of the colors. Like, the colors used are so beautiful. I just really love the concept and, like, it feels like anything's possible. 49. One of the people's that, one of the, some of the people that have inspired me the most are my teachers. They have just been so wonderful and inspiring and caring when I was really needing it in my teenage years. I will always remember them and just remember how lovely they were to me. They will be some of the most special people that I have ever met, and I couldn't be more grateful for them. Fifty. I like to parody myself. Yes. <laughs> that's it guys that's 50 facts about me I wrote them all down so I actually wouldn't like you know freeze up in the camera and go oh well what am I up to <laughs> so hopefully that helps you get to know me a little more tell me more about you I love to know more about you so <laughs> I'll see you later bye